Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back. It's the scene Tara. We're gonna jump into your reading, Gemini's. This is going to be your next 48. So if this does resonate for you, go ahead and like the video here on the white tee. If it doesn't resonate, we'll have your playlist in the description box as well. For those of you who want to book a personal with me, all the information will be in the description box. All right, let's see what we have. For Gemini's, the next 48. Holy Spirit, Gemini's, the next 48. What's the energy for Gemini's in the next 48? Thank you. Definitely, this is your reading gems. You have the lovers coming out here. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of wrapping up, a lot of like moving forward. Even though you still don't have the clarity about certain things, I'm definitely seeing like you're moving forward. I feel like within this lover's energy though, I do feel like there's still like, okay, I'll mess with you kind of now. I'll deal with the situation or in, I'll entertain the situation. But I feel like when it comes to long term, I'm seeing like you're eventually like going to be releasing this force of energy. Okay. I'm also seeing a blockage here. Like you're dealing with someone quite young or you're dealing with someone that doesn't know how to communicate. Tell me more. What's the center of all this? Ooh, the tower. Look at that. The tower. Like, you can't get along with this situation. You can't. It's like I'm just seeing like you're not getting your, your two cents in or you're not um, getting your point across the way you want to. This is what I'm seeing. And because of that, the energy is that you're going to end this relationship. Whoever this is for you, there's a lot of um carousing going on i feel like there's a lot of um he said she said they said i feel like there is the truth and also like there's their side your side and the truth with within the situation this is what you're telling me i'm also seeing a determination of what Getting back up your money and letting this go, putting this behind you, like starting over again. Because right now you're going through a constant vibration of this is just too much for you on your own. Like, I feel like you're taking care of things on your own. You're taking care of other people's responsibilities on your own. And this is a little bit, a little bit too heavy for you. This is what I'm getting here. Tell me more. Hold on. But there is going to be truth here. I feel like at this moment, something is kind of holding this up with this judgment. But I feel like it's the Holy Spirit, like, kind of, like, watching everything, too. And, like, I'm just hearing, like, everything's happened on their own time. But I'm seeing eventually for you, like, everything is going to be well dealt with and you're going to have the clarity that you deserve you're going to have you know this new beginning i feel like it's going to start up very slow within the four of pentacles but um if you be careful in what you're doing and really like do your research before jumping into something um jumping into this new beginning i feel like whatever you're fighting for is going to be yours but they're saying this is coming in really fast and you need to focus because if you don't focus what's going to happen is that you're going to be spending a little bit more 
within the next 48 or things are going to feel a little bit dry in the next 48 i feel like a lot of you could be starting a new job and you're wondering if this is going to work out and i'm feeling like there's something happening in the next 24 for you that is a breakthrough it's it could be good um but you just need to be careful and take it slow tell me more holy spirit wow these messages are just coming out coming out for you <sighs> Oh, some shadiness. No surprise here. I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles. No, the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands. I'm also seeing the, what is it, the Nine of Wands energy. I feel like there are so many layers of this situation that I'm, I'm feeling like you're just holding up. And it's a lot to do with this as well. And the home, your home, your situation, your foundation. It doesn't feel like it's where it's supposed to be today i'm also getting some kind of um overwhelming feeling from the other party like your other the person that's coming through here like they're overwhelmed in a decision that they have to make this could be an aries leo or sag this could be a scorpio i'm getting scorpio here and aries here within the tower I'm getting Aries also within the Judgment, Libra energy, Gemini's energy. But there's a lot of secrets here. There is a lot of family issues. This is what I'm moving forward to. And I'm just getting like, whatever this is, they didn't tell you. They, they wore a mask with you. They didn't tell you the truth. Like someone's someone was playing games with you or someone was going back and forth with you. Because I'm seeing like you're constantly protecting this person and this person is constantly acting like they're protecting you too. But there's something about this person that I just feel like they're trying to hold face or something or they're trying to look good. Tell me more Holy Spirit. okay wow so you have wow the queen of swords you have the eight of wands and you have the six of pentacles in reverse you know what i'm also feeling there is a third party that's coming up here like someone just is, isn't right like I feel like if you feel like something is off within the situation and how close they are, something about how close someone is and they're hiding that and it's shady. Trust it. Because I just feel like you're you're trying it's like I'm getting like you're trying to fight for this connection and you're trying to hope that that's not the case, like what you're feeling isn't true. I'm seeing like there's going to be a lot of messages and communication coming through for you, finally. But I'm also seeing it's not going to make this better. Because with the Six of Pentacles, I'm seeing like you're still going to be in some kind of unbalance connection. Oh, wow. <laughs> Scorpio energy is coming up in the next 48. There's going to be an ending because this is necessary because you have to go through your healing process because this person really, really did a like a work on you. This person really brought you through a lot with the Five of Cups. At this point within your life, you're feeling really sad, dark. You're feeling so depressed and then you have the Ten of Swords energy that you know you have to close this door. Physically and mentally is driving you insane and you're ready to move forward, but you just don't know how. What is this hiding here? A lot of negativity in the magician. I'm also getting like this person or this energy around you is not being, it's not being true or loyal to you. Yeah. This is someone that you wanted life with, but there's no communication, no understanding. It's like this person doesn't understand you. 
And the Holy Spirit is saying that you need to take this time for yourself. You need to choose you within a temperance, Sag energy, because you have been waiting for this person for so long. Some of you are married to this person. I'm getting like Taurus energy. You might be dealing with the Taurus, but you have been waiting and now you just don't want to wait anymore. It's like you kind of like something clicked here. Yeah, this person is confused. To the next 24, 48, excuse me. 48, y'all. But there is love on both ends. And I feel like often there's a cycle as well because you guys jump in and out of this connection. I'm seeing like mentally you're going insane and this is being confirmed. There's too many things on your back. A lot of you are feminine energy. Feminine could be man or woman, but I'm just seeing like you're taking care of your family, your friends, this relationship, and everything is on your back. But I'm seeing change in two years for those of you, and I know you don't want to hear that because I'm seeing the two of wands and I'm also seeing the emperor. You're dealing with someone that is like feeling like the world have closed their door on them. They have been given the horrible hand in life. They have a lot of healing to do, a lot of work within to do um, when it comes to their future, when it comes to their destiny. Um, tell me more about this too. The Holy Spirit is saying that you have to make a choice whether you want to entertain this person or not because this person is affecting you mentally this is what i'm getting you guys and i'm also seeing that there was like a breakup or some kind of break and that's been lifted so there's going to be some form of communication there are going to be some form of communication so tell me more let me shuffle Ooh, two of cups. Somebody made some promises here. Some kind of vow. Some kind of plans. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see what this person's energy within the next 48 is looking like. Wow, this person has to heal. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing some kind of incompletion. Like they know that they need to tell you something or take control of something here. Um, they're saying this is difficult for them. They need to make a decision between something here that is very difficult. This could be between someone that they were raised with or someone that they knew for a long time. And now they have to make a decision to break some form of connection with someone that they had a long-term relationship with, okay? Um, I'm hearing time is needed. More time is needed for this person's energy. Look at this. So this person showed up to be your empress. You know, the crazy thing is they're saying that there's no communication. There's a break between you and this person because this person lied to you when it comes to stability, when it comes to being ready for a real connection with the empress in reverse or some real foundation. And they have a lot of choices. It's like they have to make a decision. There's a decision that needs to be made. Tell me more about this. Why am I hearing clueless? There's no change within this person when it comes to a shift. They feel like you're still waiting for them to choose. So this person that I'm getting, you guys, is someone that told you that they're going to leave you for, leave someone for you. Um, or made some kind of promises towards you. But I'm seeing that they're going to deceit you. Okay? And this is like new. This is like, this energy is in the upright. So it's like a present energy of deceit, lies, betrayal. Okay? And I feel like you're waiting within the four. You're waiting for this person to actually choose you. But there's no change. This person is confused. They're in and out of their head about it. 
Like they know what they need to do, but they're just like, mm. I'm also seeing something about the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you, this person could be already in a foundation with someone else because this is up in the air. This is still being worked on, still looking healthy, right? But you're showing up as a Six of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse. And then you have the Ten. Ooh, two Tens here. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Like you have to heal from this. Because this person promised you your future within the 1111, within the Ten of Cups. This person is from your past too. So a lot of you, this could have been your childhood love that you met up with. And you thought it was going to work. And you thought it was faded. But this person lied to you because they're already in a relationship. <sighs> Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Next 48. For gems. Wow. I'm hearing selfish, you guys. I'm hearing letting go. I'm hearing loss. I'm hearing like there's going to be some form of separation. This person's also bringing that up. Okay. There is going to be a letting go and, you know, letting go of this as well. Not trying to change anything that they're going through. This is what I'm seeing here. Scorpio, Aries, energy for those of you who are with the Scorpio or Aries. One more, please. Ooh, the Nine of Cups, you have the Devil. What else? Ooh, and it's always the Hermit energy. <laughs> That's always with this. I feel like we do have, what, the High Priestess on the back of the deck, okay? So clearly they're looking at you as very empowered and someone that is going to be okay spiritually. Like, you don't need them. Um, this is what their, their head is coming out to say. Um, but I feel like within this energy with the... Hermit, the devil, the nine of wands, he, the nine of our cups, excuse me. It's like, I still feel like this person thinks about you, okay? They think about you a lot sexually. They feel, they're, it's like I'm getting toxic vibes from this person and they don't mean to be. They feel like this is healthy. Like whatever is going on between you and this person is healthy. They do want to make you happy. But I just feel like there's so much to fill here that they can't in their situation that they're in now it's like they can't give this to you with this environment that they're in and i feel like there's a a, a you a bigger meaning to all of this for them spiritually but they're fighting that cause i feel like they need to make the right decision but they're not at this moment it's like you're dealing with someone that is going is like going on the wrong path even though It's like they're going on the wrong path, making the wrong decision. And I'm getting like, they really, like their intuition is telling them like to drop everything and be with you, but they can't do that. Tell me more about this. Wow, the same energy again. You have Cancer that's coming out here. You also have the Six of Wands. You're going to be very successful with or without this person. You have a destiny to fill. This person is looking at you as the high priestess, the six of wands energy. Um, this person knows that they have a lot going on and it's just a little bit too much for you within the nines. Like you deserve someone that loves you, truly loves you more than they do within a nine of cups. And I feel like that's what they're referring to when they look at you as a nine of cups and also that you embody everything that they ever wanted, but they have brought so much trials and tribulations into your life. And I'm seeing like you're going to have, you know, a separation. This is being confirmed like three times already. When I did the first poll, I saw the, the Scorpio energy, the death energy, and then I saw the tower twice already within the first um, poll and this poll, okay? And now we're seeing the death again. So and plus look the chariot in reverse this person is not making any moves this person is confused between two things and we already like nabbed that in the butt from the very start because they have to make a decision that's very um um what is it delicate between two people that they really care about all right but this is what i have for you for the next 48 i know it was pretty serious but i hopefully give you you know some kind of reflection of what's going on um, so you can prepare and yeah, go ahead and like this video on the white tee. Make sure the videos hit 500 gems. Um, comment down below what you want to see next. 
and also all the information when it comes to personal is going to be in the description box as well i love you guys and thank you for all your support and love on the channel and look out for many other videos tonight because i promised you yesterday since you guys were so like amazing in the comments not yeah but on the other video that i had to clear up some things and you just were so supportive and loving and just like understood where i was coming from and understood how important your energy is to do these readings like it has to be a hundred to do these readings so thank you again for all your love and support and your graceful words i really really take them to the heart and they're locked away with a key <laughs> because i don't want no one to touch them they're mine you know um love you and i'll see you guys very very soon